Hi, you guys. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today's Ouch. vlog, whatever. Today's vlog is all about purple hair, purple hair. I have a video of the whole transformation when I first went from black to purple and we'll put it at the end of this video. So if you guys have not watched the first process, make sure you guys go watch it um, because today is the second process. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go purple my salt and pepper beard. I'm gonna look younger for the kids, for the kids. You guys see what I have to deal with? But anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video because it is all about purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. You guys are gonna see my hair a million different colors. So let's get to it. Hi you guys. So first process, I'm in the chair and you guys are about to meet the amazing Lizette. She was on my other video as well. She's the one that totally transformed me from black to now purple rain. And she will kind of explain the process of today, but we're gonna take out all my extensions and then basically re-dye my hair again. So she'll explain it better than me, but this is the first step. You guys, like I said earlier, this is the queen bee right here. This is Lizette. She is the master. She honestly, for her to take my hair to the color that it went for in one process is incredible. But that was then, this is now. And right now she's taking out all of my extensions because we're doing round two extensively, right? Yes. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna take out all the extensions and then basically go back in there and- Lighten it all up again. Lighten up the bad boy. Brighten it up. Hey Lizette, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start back to back panels and lightening up some pieces just to kind of remove the violet and get your hair lighter and then bring you back to a blank canvas. You like that. And this, that's what is about to go on this hair. No joke chemistry. Like you have to weigh things out. You have to know, I don't know, way more than I ever in a million years. You can't just like, it all on a box color by any means. Like if there is like major, I mean you have a scale for pizza. <laughs> yeah. Well you had a lot more residual color down here at the bottom. So I'm actually just gonna start with the pieces at the bottom and you can actually see the color just starting to shift and move a little bit. That's where I wanna focus more of the lightener. And then this area was blonder to begin with. So I'm gonna go back and then remove that a little bit later, but I would like the lightener to sit on this a little bit longer to get you blonder. Chemistry, baby, chemistry. Do you see it moving? Look. It's already, it's already, yeah, just a couple, just a couple seconds of it. That's right. Super light. Lightning moving. I'll probably change my hair to another color eventually. And it makes the most sense to pick something that is, I guess, the- An easy transition color. Right. Yeah. Like reds, blues, especially blues and greens, they are the hardest colors to move and play around with. You can be a lot more agitated with violet but your hair also allows that. You know, mm -hmm. not everybody's hair allows that, but your hair definitely allows that, which helps. And the quality of um, quality of chemicals that we're using, you know, help kind of protect your hair during that process as well. So that makes a big difference too. And I remember when I went red, it was like, oh my gosh, you are just gonna be red for the rest of your life. Like you're, n it's the hardest color to ever basically take out. And I do remember when I had to go uh, dark, that like first couple processes, I no joke, it looked like my head, I, I had shoe polish on my head. Uh, so strand test. This was the first thing we did with your hair. Mm -hmm. I took two different types of lighteners, two different types of uh, developers, and I was able to see that her hair was lifted really fast with the color that you had and was able to get me to a place where we were comfortable with a certain type of violet to then transition from that. Our last service, we only lightened a little bit more of the top and you know, you were okay with going a little further pushing and I'm glad we did because we were able to lighten the hair more and get a lighter violet out of that. Um, so your hair in particular, yes, can take it. Not everybody's hair can. So a strand test will save you from that heartache in the long run. And then realistically, is it realistic for someone to kind of go in for one 
uh, treatment or session, however you guys describe it. Tattoos, I mean to tattoos, they call it sessions. So is it realistic for someone to come in for one session and then get their hair to make that drastic jump? Or does it require a couple? Um, that's a two part question. If you have the time and you have the funds to do that, yes, sometimes depending on the hair, texture, porosity, tenacity, all of that, sometimes you can. It's not always recommended. And it's good to kind of take your time with it because when you do, sometimes you might be able to achieve colors that you thought you couldn't but because you took your time with it, you did it the right way, you know, and, and you're taking care of your hair in between, it made a really big difference. Um, that's the biggest hesitant as a hairdresser. That's where we have a hard time, especially if you're dealing with a hairdresser that's very busy. It's hard to book out eight hours of your day, you know, but I mean, what does eight hours of somebody's day cost? You know, and sometimes the clients, they, you know, they, they don't always have the means or the funds to, to pay for that and, you know, Sometimes it's expensive on the hairdresser's part as well. Okay, this is this is my entire day. This is what it's going to cost. This is what we can do. So it's a case by case scenario, but um, definitely taking your time and doing it the right way and conditioning your hair all the way through. Well, in the long run, it's always just going to be beneficial. Because this is no joke. This is not a like two hour process. This is not like you roll into a salon, you get your little like foils and your highlights, and you're like, okay, cool, thank you for my blowout, and then you're out. This is like yeah. a full on like day. Yeah. So this is her. The darkest areas of her hair were on her ends, whereas closer to the root area and the and the a little bit of the mid shaft up here. This didn't have as much of the old color that you had. Mm -hmm. So all of this was easy to, to lift and lighten. So the fact that I'm getting these lighter colors, I'm breaking through some of those old colors. Then I can go back and start to wipe the lightener a little bit more up here and start to slowly remove that. If I go straight in with the lightener in here on areas that I know that lifted light to begin with, I, I can potentially put her hair in danger of causing more stress. I need the lightener to sit longer here than I need it here. And that's why it's important to talk to a hairdresser because someone at home just might do bleach everywhere. Yeah. You know, and For sure. then you're putting lightener on areas that are that don't need it. Yeah. So fast, so soon, or even for so long. So that's that's a big one too. It's really cool to see. Like, my goal here was to move the violet to expose where your um, darker pieces are. Mm. So you can see here that we still have some darker pieces versus some other lighter pieces. So by just removing the violet first, not touching her scalp, we're not going to shampoo her scalp. We're going to dry her hair, go back, and pick out any of the darker pieces that just need to have those spot treatments to lighten them a little bit more, then we'll go ahead and lighten your, your regrowth area. What do you think of me blonde boots? Looking good. I like the purple a lot better though. It's getting super white, so we're definitely going to be, I'm interested to see what color we're going to end up, I mean obviously still in the purple family, but We'll see. Um, a little bit of violet toner and a little bit of like a smoky silver toner. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I actually really am so shocked that Lizette was able to pull me this light. Like this is super crazy. So what do you think of me as a blonde boobs? I like you with dark hair or colored hair better. How dare you? I have no extensions in, so calm yourself. And this is not how my blonde hair would actually look. However, I'm excited to see what color we pick. Okay. You guys, so now we're picking a color. First of all, let's have a moment. Was that just pulled my hair? You guys, let's let's run a little like memory. I'm like jet black. Khaleesi. Damn now I'm. Definitely ready for Game of Thrones, Khaleesi. What's <laughs> Khaleesi that? blonde. Uh, so that is a savage. <laughs> um, now we're just kind of going and picking out whatever color she thinks is best. These are two options. A little bit lighter. A little bit darker, but still lighter than the original color. 
And so this is what we chose. I love it. I think that's the look right there. This is the look right here. With it up like that. <laughs> look at look was the troll. <laughs> <laughs> totally look at it. That's oh, the one. Oh no, it's taste. Oh my god. That's so funny. The process guys. And look at look at this is like some major effort over here. Oh yeah. Cause you know your girl can't be without her wave. <laughs> And that's a lot of hair. And this is what the hair look like. And then wait till it gets nice and purple. You guys, I know I keep saying it in this video, but Lizette is the queen. I mean, first of all, look at how light my hair is. I look at her palms. <laughs> no. And we had some, you know, some hiccups in the road because you girl likes her weave and I like my extensions. So sometimes extensions don't take certain colors, whatever may the case may be. So anyways, long story short, Lizette put in some time to mm. get this done today. <laughs> and we have been here for an extensive amount of time, so Lizette gets the MVP award for sure. Good but look at good time. So pretty. Hi you guys. So this is the next day. And as you can see, we went obviously like a lighter shade of purple that I absolutely love. I feel for sure like a little unicorn. So Lizette is truly a coloring queen. I'll put her information in the description box as well so you guys can follow her and kind of keep up with like different colors that she does because she's truly, I can't express it enough. You guys know how dark my hair was. So the fact that we got it this light is bananas. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this purple process. Not stage two. Part two, because y'all know it is a process. And the fact that I'm not bald yet is truly amazing. So um, until next time, you guys make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you.